have an older Mac but want a fresh coat of paint, why not upgrade to the latest version of macOS? Dubbed macOS Sonoma, this free update went live this month. I highly recommend that you update your machines today. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker. And over the last decade, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the interesting people I get to meet along the way. So if you're a loyal Mac user wanting to spice things up, give this channel a like and subscribe, and I'll help you find the right Mac OS to match your needs. And just so you know what's in store for you, here are the best new features of Mac OS Sonoma. Just like on the iPhone, widgets are also now available on your Mac desktop. Some of my favorites and what I currently have on my desktop are the weather, the battery status of my devices, and my calendar. And of course, the photos widget for my daily dose of good memories. Widgets are interactive, so for example, I can tick off a to-do without having to dive into my Things app. And that's right, Things is a third-party app. Now, apart from widgets made by Apple, you'll find there are more to choose from based on apps installed on your Mac and even your iPhone. Some third-party favorites I use include a battery indicator for my FonMoF bike, carrot weather that shows me forecasts for the day and the week, and a Kahoot widget with trivia questions similar to that quiz game you'll sometimes find on the back of an Uber. Now, just in case you think this might be distracting, don't worry, they fade into the background like a transparent layer whenever you launch a new app. I actually like that they're transparent, so I have them like this permanently. To do this, go into Settings, Desktop and Dock, Widget Style, Monochrome. If you watch the channel, you'll know I own a couple of TVs from different TV manufacturers, but regardless of make or model, I always have an Apple TV connected. Now, one thing I love about Apple TV is its collection of aerial screensavers, which feature drone shots over scenic cityscapes, through oceans and rivers, and even in space. Sometimes I will just sit there and watch. It's very peaceful. But here's the best part. Say, this is your screensaver. When you log in to your Mac, it seamlessly transitions to your desktop wallpaper. How cool is that? If you dive into settings, wallpaper, and you scroll down, you'll see that you can shuffle through sets of different aerials. And if none of this is your cup of tea, you can still pick any wallpaper of your choosing. By the way, this is the default wallpaper for macOS Sonoma. Convinced yet? Well, we have more amazing features to talk about after the break, but first, did you know that before you can install macOS Sonoma, you'll need at least 25 gigabytes of free space? Now, if you're running out of space, you can manually look for large files and delete them, or to make your life easier and make sure your Mac is ready, you can use Clean My Mac X, which happens to be this video's sponsor. With Smart Scan, you can do three things with just one click of this button. Clean up, remove malware, and speed up your Mac. It only takes a few minutes. I found this helpful not just when I had to upgrade this two-year-old iMac, but also before starting my days, especially when I have power-hungry tasks to accomplish like editing 4K videos. Speaking of editing, the menu app gives me a quick overview of my Mac's status, like how much memory I have available, how much storage I have left, and even the internet speed. All useful information when I'm editing, exporting, and uploading YouTube videos. Want to try it for yourself? Well, Clean My Mac is giving you a seven day free trial, and if you want to continue using it to get your Mac project ready, we'll give you a 20% discount on your order if you use the link in the description box below. And we'd like to thank Clean My Mac X for sponsoring this video. Whether we like it or not, video calls are now part of our daily life. And regardless of what app you use, or at least the big ones, FaceTime, Zoom, the Microsoft Teams, WebEx, macOS Sonoma now gives us more tools to elevate the video calling experience. Every time you're on a video call, you'll see this icon over here, which signifies that your camera is turned on. But if you click on it, you'll find that all your tools are in one place. Turn on center stage so your camera follows you around the room.
portrait mode for that creamy blur effect. And yes, you can click on this arrow to bring up a slider so that you can control the intensity. Pro tip, dial it down a little because too much blur kind of looks fake. Don't have a ring light, but want it to look like you've got studio lighting? Turn on lighting effects. This is a before and this is the after. And last but not least, my favorite, reactions. A heart sign means love. A thumbs up sign is for like. Thumbs down for dislike. Two thumbs up for fireworks. Thumbs down for rain. One peace sign for balloons. Two peace signs for confetti. And two rock on signs for lasers. Actually, there's one more video feature that I like even better. It's called presenter mode, which is only available on Macs running Apple Silicon. You know how on a video call and someone starts a presentation, you see the presentation, but not the presenter? Now with presenter mode, the presenter shows up as a small overlay where your head appears in a bubble that you can move around the screen. You can also choose to appear as a large overlay. Mac OS can identify your face and body and separate it from your background. So your face and body appear as a layer above the presentation. The slideshow is another layer behind that. And at the very back, your background is a third layer. Safari gets some updates as well. You can now create profiles like personal or work so that you can keep your work tabs separate from your personal tabs. This applies to your favorites, your tab groups, and even your browsing history. Now you can go one step further and assign a profile to a focus mode. So when you're in work focus mode, for example, Safari switches to your work profile. There's also something called web apps. Now think about a website that you visit a lot. For me, it's probably Instacart. So in my case, I can save it as a web app. Just navigate to the site and click file, add to dock. And just like that, the site has its own app icon. It appears on your dock. And if you do a spotlight search, it'll come out as well. And of course, if you launch it, it will look like its own separate app independent of Safari. Last but not least, there's enhanced private browsing for your more personal or shall we say delicate browsing activities. You can hide and secure them all behind a password. Next time anyone tries to open your browser, boom, they'll need a password first. This year, Apple is making a huge play in the gaming space, not just to bring PC and console titles to the Mac and having them play as good, but to also bring the same titles to the iPhone. We might have to do a video on this in the future, but for now, from a user's perspective, what you need to know is a feature called Game Mode. New on macOS Sonoma, Game Mode automatically turns on when you start a game, and it makes sure your game gets the highest CPU and GPU priority. The result, more consistent frame rates and reduced input and audio latency when paired with game controllers like this from PS5, and of course, your AirPods or AirPods Max. With the promise of more AAA titles coming next year, I was curious. Can my Mac mini eventually replace a gaming console? For this experiment, I decided to upgrade to one running the M2 Pro chip because this particular model supports 4K 120 FPS. I've currently been playing Lies of P. It's a great start and I can't wait for games that are coming soon, including Death Stranding from legendary game creator Hideo Kojima. That game launches on Mac OS on December 2nd. I've got one bonus feature that solves a problem that I have a lot. Like many of you, I share my Disney Plus account with my brother and oftentimes I'll change my password and he'll have to text me in the middle of the night, hey, what's your password? Well, now if you go to settings and passwords, you can now set up something called password sharing. So even if I change the password every time he tries to log in on his Mac or iPhone, he'll get this prompt where he can use his biometric data to log in. Of course, if James is a bad boy, then I can also remove him and revoke access anytime. Now, before you get too excited, make sure that your Mac is compatible with macOS Sonoma. Here are all the supported models. Any iMac 2019 model and later, 
iMac Pro 2017 model and later, MacBook Air 2018 model and later, MacBook Pro 2018 model and later, Mac Pro 2019 model and later, Mac Studio 2022 and later, and Mac Minis 2018 and later. And those were my top five favorite features of Mac OS Sonoma. Are you going to upgrade today? And which was your favorite feature? Let me know in the comments section below. I know we don't do a lot of software videos, but we're definitely going to do more and more of it. Let me know what you think about this new format as well. If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you do and hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time we post new videos. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And for news and updates, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.